And among qualifiers, there's only one batter hitting higher than a rise, and that's Yuli Gurriel of Houston hitting at 317. Yeah, like I said, so all of a sudden Gurriel is going to be look up in the second week of September and see this Arise kid and go, wait a minute, where'd he come from? One and down and now Sano. The predictions will make Terry Francona and everyone else who mm -hmm. believed it to be possible watching him hit in the beginning of his career. And still, he's in the beginning of his career. But Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Sano hit a ground ball to Bogarts to wrap up the Twins' threat in the first. They've scored the only run of the game, but they've left five men on for two innings. It's one of those crazy numbers. They're two for eight already in this ball game with runners in scoring position. So you hope it's not a, a game of lost opportunities. Only three for 14 last night, and they put up nine runs. So it's one of those things where, even though they scored a bunch of runs, there were more opportunities and left some guys out there. And, and tonight, one of those two for eight is an infield hit. Fastball just missing. 10 o'clock corner. Polanco left the bases full. Donaldson left them full in the second inning. And now two and two. To left field, very deep and gone. <laughs> Miguel Sano cleared the billboard in deep left center field, and it's a 2 0 Twins lead. Hanging breaking balls go a long way, and this ball went a long way. Those people up on top of monster seats are thinking maybe we got a shot at a home run ball, but they never imagined, I don't think, a ball would actually go over their heads in that spot of the ballpark. But I was just thinking to myself, where would that ball go? Then he hit a target field during the homestand that went halfway up the right center field bleachers, and then he hits this ball way out there. Threw him a first pitch breaking ball for a strike. This one a slider, and you reverse that spin on that slider. That ball takes off like it shot out of a cannon, and he knew that immediately this ball was crushed. I don't know who he was gesturing to or what the intent was, but as Sano crossed home plate, he tugged on his Twins jersey and looked at somebody in the Boston dugout. Two to nothing. 